Hello, PJ here and this is 30 day lead code challenge in PHP level difficulty easy and we have another challenge, another problem in front of us. So given an given a 2D integer matrix M representing the grayscale of an image, you need to design a smoother to make the grayscale of each cell becomes the average grayscale rounding down of all the eight surrounding cells and itself. If a, if a cell has less than eight rounding cells then use as many as you can and this, this is an example. Uh, okay and this is an input and this is what should be the output and here is the reason why. So in point zero zero we have one two three so therefore we have number three here and we have four surrounding uh, items which is four so this is floor of zero seven five which is zero and for example the point in the middle which has all the surrounding uh, numbers here which is eight and we have nine numbers all together all of them in the matrix therefore is this number and floor of that is zero anyway so and here we have some additional notes uh, the matrix the value is between zero and 20, 255 and the length of the matrix uh, and width of the given matrix are in the range of 1 to 150. Okay, this is an interesting um, challenge, I would say, although a lot of people didn't like it from what I can see, but um, let's have a look uh, what we can do here. So we need to loop through uh, as always uh, and have, because we have a matrix we need two loops so the first one is going to be a ski and then a row so a row will be this and now a second one so we can loop through individual values it will be row as let's call it key 2 and then value okay uh, and so so what we need to do we need to calculate the sum of surrounding items and then divide it by the number I think the best way of doing it is just to put uh, all the values and count them in an array so it will be we can then sum the array and then count the number of values uh, which will give us the final result so let's try do this so let's call it new value array and this is going to be our array and now we need to start adding values uh, to it so the first value will be obviously the current value we have so for this one it's going to be just one the current value let's say we are at the point zero zero and the next one is going to be and we want to check if it exists we always want to check if it exists first uh, before we actually add it in to array so next one next to it actually next previous that so as we can see here it doesn't exist so we want to check it first before we add it to the array it will be uh, so we check if it's set and it will be this row and then key 2 so the key of the current value minus 1 okay so we see if it exists uh, okay and then if exists let's add it to the array and the value will be this okay so this is the previous 
value of the current value and so let's maybe call it current uh, row and then the next one if it exists so instead of minus one we need to do plus one so now we're checking this one if it exists and the same here if it exists you will add it to the array okay so now we need to also check the previous row so for this uh, item it will be it won't exist but if we are here for example it will exist so we need to cover all the situations and what we're gonna do here so we'll use a similar if statement okay so if is set and now what we want to take we need to take this uh, m matrix and the key of that matrix is going to be current key minus one okay current key of the row and the minus one and the value is going to be key two okay so for example for this one we are looking for the previous yeah key so previous key and the same value here okay and if it does exist then we're gonna add it okay uh, and we need to do the same for again previous row but value minus uh, but the key minus one so for example if we're here this is this yeah and the same for previous row but the next item yeah which is this one okay we don't need these brackets here this one will be this one yeah okay and we need to do the same for the next row so it's going to be very similar so we can copy the whole block and it's, i'm gonna call it uh, next row and here we just need to check change the row key this is our row key so instead of previous one it is going to be next one but all the same three values okay and the most important thing here is the use of is said we're checking if this value exists even if it's zero uh, then if it exists then we're adding it to this array if it doesn't exist we're not adding it so we can easily count it okay so once we have this okay now our new value is going to be array sum of this new value array divided by the number of items and the last thing we need to do uh, is to floor it so round it down to the next uh, down value and now uh, we just need to replace this value in the matrix so and this is easy so it's gonna be row key and the item key two okay this is gonna be new value okay and then at the end of this function we just need to return m okay uh, and that should be it really so a lot of typing but uh, in theory quite simple let's see if the code works okay yeah so it looks like it works let's uh, we don't have any more examples here but let's try a different example let's make something uh, up some different numbers and then let's try this okay we see it still works so we are ready to submit uh, and see if it's gonna be accepted okay so we have wrong answer let's see why uh, could this be okay as you can see we have some differences here okay this is what we 
uh, are given here and this is what is expected there are some minor differences in a couple of places okay so let's see why this uh, could be and analyze the code again okay so mistake we are making here is that we are replacing this value in the current matrix which means the next iteration is going to use this new number instead of original number so what we need to do is create a new matrix here okay and now just use this to generate the new one and return the new one here then original won't be affected and the next iteration should now calculate uh, this uh, correctly mm, okay so let's uh, try to run this code uh, okay it looks like we cannot write like this so let's just maybe create a simple array that should work okay yeah that works uh, so now let's try to submit the answer okay yeah so it's success uh, and faster than 66 percent uh, of the other submissions also using mess me, uh, less memory so it took us it took me around 20 minutes to solve but i have to say this was one of the most interesting uh, problems uh, so far and maybe the code could have been better could have been more readable and more optimized if you have any ideas please let me know in the comments what you think uh, and what you would have done differently any ideas or any comments uh, that would be great uh, otherwise thank you very much for watching and see you in the next challenge thank you bye bye